to the latest on that terror attack in New Zealand. This morning, the prime minister announced gun law reforms will be coming within the next 10 days after 50 people were killed in those attacks on two mosques. Will Carr is in Christchurch, New Zealand with more. Good morning, Will. Good morning, Michael. Overnight, authorities here came out and said definitively there was only one shooter in this attack. And as these memorials continue to grow, there is a raw sense of emotion pulsating through the heart of this city after its darkest day. Overnight, authorities executing search warrants on two homes in Australia after the worst terror attack in New Zealand's history, a country that prides itself on safety. The faces of the dead, heartbreaking. This three-year-old boy killed in the mosque across the street from the park where he loved to play. The family of this toddler grateful he's alive. The child's American mother posting that her husband shielded our son during the attack. The father shot multiple times. Both survived. Hug your family. Hug your friends. You just don't know when, when you might not see them again. Authorities say this is the Australian man, his face blurred per local law, who killed at least 50 people, injured dozens more, and left behind two massive crime scenes. Authorities here are combing the area. It is a painstaking process. They are going inch by inch searching for evidence. The alleged shooter, a self-proclaimed racist who hates immigrants, his family speaking for the first time. What he's done is it's just, just not right. It's, it's un unrepairable. Overnight, ABC News confirming the shooter practiced at a gun range five hours south of the community he shattered. Its residents now praying. That there is peace within that community, Lord. Not only for the ones they've lost, but also for the man responsible. I hope justice is served. And may he be forgiven. Right now, the shooter only faces one murder charge, but you can expect that to jump in the coming days, and he plans to represent himself. Michael. And will local politicians, they're promising Swift's action on gun control, but what changes can we expect and how fast can they make them happen? That's right. Keep in mind, they don't have the Second Amendment here. So the prime minister has come out and said within the next 10 days, she wants those changes, which could include a ban on semi-automatic rifles. But we should know in the past three days, gun sales have spiked across New Zealand because some residents are worried about their gun rights being taken away. Michael. All right. Thank you so much, Will Carr.